Hey, Dad. Hey, how you doing? What have I interrupted? What are you doing here? We're repairing the, the lighting in the warehouse. I'm wiring a ballast to re make a repair. I have a quick question for you from the mm -hmm. YouTube channel that I would rather you answer. What's a really good filter to use? So I was curious mm -hmm. on what you would say to somebody just asking, hey, what's a good filter? Well, it depends on what you're wanting to filter, but let's say I, I want the very best. I need to really clean the air of you know, we've got health issues or whatever. I'm going to answer that by telling you what to be aware of or be cautious of. And you can go to your typical home center. And for one, they make, they have developed their own rating system that means absolutely nothing. Okay. You know, the, you know, they, they'll, they'll come up with a rating and, and have multiple filters there, and you can compare the ratings, but the ratings mean absolutely nothing. Most people look at those filters and they go, well, the higher the number they have or whatever their rating is, that must be the best one. Typically, those are the most restrictive. And how many videos have we done or how many questions have we answered about my furnace not working right, my air conditioner literally not working right? because of the air filter that I've got inside. And so mm -hmm. some of them are so restrictive that they don't allow enough airflow to go through it. That's what you have to be really careful of. So I know I haven't answered the question of which one. I'm saying be very cautious at the home center. If you're really serious about filtration and you're talking about a media filter, you know, we have what we call our fantastic filter, which is a very good MERV rating, but it's also, it can move air. You know, air can go through it. If you want the absolute best, our electronic air cleaner, our micro power guard is extremely efficient because it's it kind of looks like a filter, but it's not trying to trap those particles by how porous or how dense the media is. We do it by electrifying the part of the, the fibers of that filter. And so it picks them up like a magnet. You know, we're not trying to those those high efficiency filters I'm referring to at the home centers, those are literally like a piece of paper with holes in it. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're trying to get our air through. And so it's just extremely limited as far as what it can the amount of airflow that you can get. So just be aware if you're if you're talking about doing it at a home center or something like that, I would steer you away from their most efficient ones because the super high number ones. Yeah. Yeah, they they are way too dense to get any kind of airflow through. Them. If you did not have a micro power guard or a mm -hmm. fantastic filter, let's say that you are walking through the home center and right. you you need something, which one would you personally pick out, do you think? Uh probably on the lower end of them, just knowing that it's a decent filter. If you really have sensitivities and you're really trying to clear out very fine particles like smoke, things like that, you know, um, you really need to be looking at something other than a home center filter. Right. But yeah, I would go to the more lower end that is probably better than your basic throwaway filter. But I, mm -hmm. I caution you about getting one that is too dense to move right. air. So, yeah, that's what you see causing more problems. Right. For people. OK, mm -hmm. cool. All right. Thanks, Dad. There goes Javier. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're going to we're going to be showing Javier in probably next week's video. He's going to uh, I have video of him installing a micro power guard air filter. Yeah. So, cool. All right. All right. I'll see you. I'll see you later, Dad. All right. Bye bye. OK, bye. Thank you.